Hello students in this lesson we will see the sexual reproduction in flowering plants and in this video you will know about the pollination and pollen pistil interactions so first of all we will see the definition of pollination the process of transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma is called pollination here are the types of pollination Actually the types of pollination is based on the ways of transfer of pollen grains. So the first way of transfer of pollen grains is autogamy. Autogamy is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of the same flower. While gitanogamy is the transfer of pollens from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower in the same plant. Genetically it is similar to autogamy but it requires pollinating agents because for transfer of pollen grains from one flower to another flower even in the same plant is not possible without any pollinating agent Now come to the xenogamy Xenogamy is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther to the stigma of a different plant so it also needs pollinating agents Now come to the pollen pistil interactions. So first of all we will see what is pollen pistil interaction. Pollination does not always ensure the transfer of compatible pollens hence the pistil has the ability to recognize the right type of pollen to promote post pollination events. Pollen pistil interaction is a dynamic process involving pollen recognition followed by promotion or inhibition of the pollen the pollen tube reaches the ovary and enters the ovule through the micropyle then through the filiform apparatus it reaches the synergids in this way the pollen tube grows you can see in this picture this is the ls of a flower showing growth of pollen tube this is the pollen tube and you can understand that the pollen tube reaches the ovary and enters the ovule this is the ovule inside the ovary through the micropyle and then through the filiform apparatus it reaches the synergids and in this way the pollen tube grows so here are the antipodal cells inside the ovule and these are the polar nuclei and this is the egg cell and now we will see another picture which is the picture of an egg apparatus showing entry of pollen tube into a synergid so pollen nuclei inside the central cell while this is the egg nucleus and this is the synergid this is the filiform apparatus and these are the male gametes 